Hey everyone, we're so excited today because we are about to prove that toucans are trainable. So we begin with teaching Jellybean the toucan to target. So Gabby goes in, offers the target stick. Unfortunately, Jellybean was able to grab the stick, which is really a behavior we don't want. So this next time I tell her to hold it a little bit further away so he can't quite grab it, but it's pretty hard to accomplish with a toucan to gauge that distance. So again, Jellybean is able to grab the stick and it's getting pretty aggressive. So I'm worried about her putting aggressive on cue. So I actually ask Dave if maybe he wants to step in and try this so that it's not associated with Gabby if it is going on the aggressive side. Poor Gabby is feeling like she can't get it right, but toucans are much harder to train than parrots in my opinion, and we have a lot less experience training them as a whole. There's no toucan experts out there, and there's not a lot of people training toucans. So you're going to hear us kind of talk through this, talk through our ideas, our concepts, our thought process. Dave goes in, tries to get Jellybean to target, but we find by holding the target stick further away, he kind of like lunges at it, which is getting pretty aggressive. Also, Jellybean doesn't know Dave, so naturally he's being a little bit more aggressive when it comes to interacting with Dave. So he's really going for the stick more aggressively with Dave than probably Gabby. This is when Dave kind of has the epiphany of let's work with what's working and what the bird is actually giving us. So I'm going to let you hear our thought process through the next bit of this training. You know what? It still might work. We just would phase it out. So it's like over here. But he's like chasing it. Right? Holy we, cow, those blueberries are like we stop, plums. We stop it before okay. it bites it. That yeah. might be the solution. Oh my goodness. How are halves? I cut them Oh, that's half. way better. Thank you. The, yeah. can, the blueberries are huge too this week. You got the jackpot the blueberry there. So what I'm, where I was going with that is maybe like we're doing this. We're using more of like as a tapping of where to go so that we're not pairing it with aggression. Okay. And he seems to be receptive to that. Seems to be a little psycho. <laughs> I can't believe he hasn't gone for you over there. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm really surprised. I hate being in this case too. To the height. <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, little. It's really annoying. It's a little brutal. Super annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Did you take that blueberry aggressively that time? Yeah, I just barely missed it. <laughs> Do you want to switch me and try? Sure. The goal is to not put aggression on cue. So I'm clicking when he's landing where, like, close to where I want him. Okay. Yeah. So uh, he has you got to wait until he's done eating. Okay. Yeah, you can't have another repetition until he's done eating. Okay because you can't reward it. So, Jamie will fend first. I don't know why, but with me, he'll kind of hold the blueberry and just jump around with it and not eat it. So, so I think that he may, that's usually like a mating behavior, right? Like yeah, and she was definitely sheriff. groping him earlier. <laughs> okay, so. so he's ready. So let's okay. tell him to go somewhere. I'm gonna go to the top right okay. of that stand. And good, 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 good. And that was a gentle take. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. He's so freaking cute. I love this Java tree thingy. It is like yeah. awesome for a toucan. Yeah, he loves it. So show, show him another treat. Okay. And see if that'll get him to eat that one. Yeah. There, there you go. go. A little late on the click, but. Okay. Should it be as soon as he lands or? Yeah. Okay. As soon as he's in like a really close proximity to where he wanted him, so okay. I would kind of treat it more like when he's landing there. Okay. But it's definitely before he touches the stick because we don't want to gnaw on the stick. Yeah, perfect. So it's more of I would equate this more to like stationing, where it's like, hey, go here, go here, more so than targeting. But he seems to be very receptive to it. See if you can get him to the lower branch. Harder for him, right? Nice. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> I'd probably end there. We're having we have good success. Okay. And he's gonna fill up, but in about ten minutes he'll be ready for more reps. Okay. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Good job, buddy. He's yeah, he's face wiping, so he's definitely done. Mm-hmm. 
Because Jellybean's not perfect with everybody, I want to be able to take targeting to the next level to where he is out of the cage and then is targeted to go back into the cage. So to set ourselves up for the most likelihood of success, we're going to do this in small approximations by taking one of the trees that he's familiar with, putting it close to an open cage, targeting him out, and then immediately targeting back in and see if we can expand that just a little bit today. We don't know how many reps we'll get, so we'll keep it uh, short and concise and see how it goes. What I picture is we'll open the cage, target into this, and I put it against your tile so that it doesn't roll, and then target it back in. So do you want to do it since he's really receptive sure. to you? Yeah. Head on in. <laughs> okay, so that might be too far, so let's put a little closer. I need to show him a treat again real quick and then tap tap. So I'll have you go in, target him here. Okay. <laughs> yes. And then we'll use that momentum to get him to come back out. Okay. Perfect. And then stay there. Let him eat that. And now step out so you can get him to the other one. And tap tap. Can you, but he should be able to can you pick him up and set him on that? Yes. So let's start with that and just target him back in. Okay. <laughs> I have to give him the blueberry before he pops up. If that's what's, what was working, let's right. do that. Or else he'll bite me. <laughs> okay. Okay. So get ready because he's going to want to jump back on his own. And then target him in? Yeah. Well, but he has the treat, right? Yeah, he, so hasn't, he wasn't I messed quite that ready up. yet. Okay. So just wait till he's done eating before you do that. Okay. I'm gonna move that just slightly this way. Okay. And then I'll just have you pick him up and set him on it again. And then have you go back in. But when you go back in, just block it so he can't fly until he's finished eating. Then move back in and tap for him to recover. Okay. Yep, so block his flight path to that. Yep, perfect. Wait till he eats it. Do we need to scoot him closer? Yes, I want to, but I don't want to get a scoot flight. So we waited too long in the tree today. Just gave him too many for this stage in the training. Like almost. Hey. Was that okay? Yeah, it was longer than we wanted, but that was okay. because we missed our right motivation levels. Ultimately, we tried pushing further than his food motivation level would allow us to, so We'll give him a little break. We'll either try it again later today, but more than likely, we'll give it a shot tomorrow. So do like two to three repetitions in the cage, probably three repetitions in okay. the cage, and get that behavioral momentum, and then see if we can use that momentum to get him out here to this one. Okay, and then start working over this way. Is that poop, or did he drop it? He dirt? dropped it. Okay. So do I give him another? No, that's his fault. Come into the stand over here. He might need you behind it. Okay. Versus blocking it at all. We try luring him slightly. Like show him the berry over by the tree. Oh, oh. bypassing. Dang. <laughs> Uh, I like how we, okay. but we always have to give him a blueberry. Yeah, then go ahead and just set him on the stand. Okay. Have him maybe target left and right on the stand. I know it's not very big, but like, I guess you won't really be able to. I'm okay. saying that. I mean, he's kind of just following it. See if we can get him there and then back. <laughs> we need to FR2 that. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh! oh. <laughs> Set him on here. Okay. He's never done that before to my arm. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to have you, so listen real quick. Okay. I'll have you tap, click when he lands, and then have him come back here, click when he lands, and treat here. Okay. So you're not going to treat there. Okay. But we'll do everything else the same. So just click, but don't treat. Yep, okay. and, then, and then immediately come back to this one. Okay. So click, and then back here, back here. Yep, yep, yep. Little lure. Tap, tap. 
turn. Yeah, and like hold the tree here, maybe. Okay. He's fully capable. Oh. Well, gosh darn. Do you feel like he missed that? I feel, I feel like, like he wanted to land on my arm. I think yeah, he wanted to land on your arm Which instead. Which is so really exciting for me because yeah. I wanted to <laughs> do that. Do you want to look at what we got? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if he's going to your arm, I'm okay with he's that. He's never done that before. That would yeah, be we could do better. that. Super cool. We yeah. can do that. Do you want okay. to see if he'll come down to her arm or do you think that's too far starting from the cabinet and just get him down and start she, over? I would see if he'll fly, if he'll pop down your arm from there. I'd not yeah, you could try with the target and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh, where are you going? Do you have a stool or something you'd stand on that makes yeah. you more level? Yeah, that's yeah. usually. Because that's a little bit of. Oh! We could try from here. Okay. Oh! Hey! <laughs> Double! Yeah, yeah, go give him a treat. I got the click for it. <laughs> <laughs> we can probably shut him in for a little bit because he was okay, looking good. Yeah, that was good. I can't believe he did that. <laughs> I can't believe he like jumped down like that. That's Usually cool. I have to like step right up to him on a stool. He's going down for that one he dropped. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way they can like yeah. climb sideways. Woo! No, that was awesome. I think he's making the connection of just training. You know how yesterday we were talking about like, once you teach them that they can learn, they learn faster. Right. That's creating a language that he's understanding. So it translated from target training to he understood you wanted him to come to you. That's I think that's so super awesome. cool. <laughs> so am I calling him straight to my arm or am I doing like a... Do a I would, warm up of like okay. just two reps, only okay. two reps. I would warm him up and then ask him to your arm. <laughs> This. Holy cow. Yeah. Now I would hold your arm up. Yeah. He looks like he's looking at the one he dropped. Okay. He is going for the one he dropped, I think. Yeah, he found it. Be in the bird room. Maybe try targeting just to this tree. Yeah. Yeah, that was whatever you did. You got his attention. To Showed the blueberry, I think. Oh, okay. And put him on the tree because yeah, he's gonna on. get crazy. There we go. Be able to see the blueberries. Be able to just get a flight like that. Wow, he's never done that before. So just don't worry about the stick okay. or the clicker. Okay. And just show him the blueberry. Done. And then reset him. Yeah. Because otherwise, if you don't reset him pretty quickly, he's going to escalate into. So go ahead. He's got momentum. Jelly. He sees one that you that got dropped down there. It's like a little half one. I'm on it, guys. I'm getting it. Don't want to let anything go to waste. Like that. Love that so about cool. you, kids. You gonna get them? Kind of just want me to. I kind of just want to pick it up. get it first. Oh, <laughs> oh man. You pissed him off. I did. <laughs> wow, that's it. That's it. Did he get it? He dropped it. So, interestingly enough, some of our small birds, they would rather fly to me than step up. I'll get bitten if they have to step up. So you just reset them on this little tree. And Gabby, get ready to like flash in a tree and, and ask for a recall. Why are they goofy? Nice. And then reset them. Perfect. Perfect. See how you reset them just before he bit you? Right. He was, he was <laughs> I saw that. So that's what I mean by like change something prior to the unwanted behavior. Okay. And that basically means he doesn't want to be on you. He's flying you for the treat, but he doesn't want to be on you. Okay. So really reinforce when he's on you, but then reset him before he gets frustrated and bites. Which is also why I said I'll take care of clicking, because I don't want you to have to think about too many things right now and click when he bites. Right. Do you have more berries? Yes. See if we can get like three more flights. Jelly bean. 
And reset. No. I think part of the reason she's getting the aggressive behavior is he sees that she has multiples and you're only giving one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You would do it if you were right here. Or if you could get his attention to turn him around. Yeah. There we go. Just try to get him to closer. yeah. Try to get him to engage with the fact that you have a treat for him. So you might want to toss up and catch it if you can't. There you go. Lower your arm slightly. There you go. There he goes. Wow. <laughs> nice. And just there, he almost went for your thumb. You reset him before. So your window of time with him on you is really short. So just make sure you're resetting him prior to the unwanted behavior of a bite. And that'll increase the amount of time you can get him to stay on you, like, because you're not letting him reinforce his own bites. Oh. Sorry. Dude. <laughs> At least he's flying down from I there. I didn't know he was going to fly on this hand. Yeah, just keep consistent too with what hand you have him go to. Right. It'll yeah, make it's your always easier. this hand. That's why I'm a little confused that he's trying to go to that one. I think it was just... There we go. And we're probably running out of ability to get him back. So right. let's, let's go and put him back in and give him a treat for going in. <laughs> Good boy, Jelly. Good. Ooh. I'd say that's, that was solid. Great that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Super cool. So that's, again, like when you're looking at training, sometimes you just have to go with their offering and then enhance and shape what they're giving you. Right. So you're trying to increase a little bit of distance, um, you know, but you just want to make sure you're taking the opportunity when they give it to you. When we first got, he was not like a confident bird. Yeah. And when it comes to flighted behaviors especially, I have noticed that if you can build a confidence, the skills follow. Right. So you get short flights, get longer flights. Like that, where he missed you, I think was just clumsiness. I don't think that he was trying to land on the other hand. Maybe he was, but the more confident he becomes as a flyer, then those skills will develop. Are two trainable? Absolutely they are, 100%. <laughs>